Hey guys, what's up? I'm gonna be showing you how to add a floors lava game mode to your grill tag fan game. So it's actually pretty easy. All you have to do is make a map. Uh, it can be something like this, where it's a little bit more crazy. But for this, I just made a simple map and I use cubes and shape them to these sizes. It's, it really doesn't matter. All right. Then you're gonna need to make another cube and add. Uh, whatever you want it can be water lava whatever you want to come from the ground but I obviously chose lava then you're gonna have to go to my discord server and get the script called move up and basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your cube underneath make sure it's completely underneath put the move up script on it now uh, you can set the speed that you want and set the stopping height to like 100 it, like just put it really high so that'll never be hit then you need the reset height. So, as you can see here, uh, I have the start height as negative 30. And basically, the start height is the height that it gets sent back to. Um, and then the end height, I, I have set to 8. So, basically, if you look at this Y right here, I move it up. Oh my god. And I move it up. Once it hits that 8 right there, it'll get shot back down to negative 30 um yeah so that's how that works and if you want to so now uh basically what's going to happen is you're going to get in here and obviously you're going to hit the lava but nothing's going to happen because it doesn't have anything to make anything happen uh so to add a death screen this part's also very easy you just need to uh make your death screen over here uh, I just made some cubes, I had some text that said you die, and then just make a button and write, uh, click to resp and click to respawn above it. Alright, let's go back down. So basically, on this you want to get another script from my Discord, which will be a link in bio. Uh, and you gotta get teleport with delay. I don't know who I got this from, but I'll tag them if I remember. Anyway, object to disable basically what that means is you have to get every object in your thing except for like the important things like so basically I'll close my object so my object is already closed so basically the things that you don't want in your object uh, are like these blue things those things are very important you don't want your death you don't want your uh, oh so basically in your dead place you have to add a cube but then just Disable the mesh render so you can't see it and disable the box collider so you won't hit it and you don't want that uh, To be in it. You don't want your play fab. You don't want any of these things. You don't want the thing that's going to teleport you um, and You don't want Text doesn't matter text literally does not matter. You're not gonna hit text because it, it's see-through or whatever um, And then also you don't want your button on the other side to to be there Alright, so now you have to add that script and oh to to make this game object that has everything in it you just add create empty wait I think you create empty game object then you can just drag things inside of it like that um, but that doesn't matter oh shit Yeah, so you just create a game object and then you drag all the things inside of it to do that. Alright, so you have to do object to disable, make it your game object. Object to teleport, make it your gorilla player right here. Target object, make it that cube that I just told you to make uh, right here that should be invisible and not have a collider on it. Let me just show you those settings one more time. You can name it whatever you want, but I just named it dead. So you can see the mesh render in the box slider off. All right. Um, wait time before teleport should be 0 0.2 and 0 0.2. Some people say 0 0.3, but uh, I just don't think that really is needed. I think 0 0.2 is, works pretty well. All right. And now to make the button work to teleport you back to your spawn point, I have it go back to my lobby. You can have it. Jace, do you know where any spray is? Alright, sorry about that. Uh, where was I? Oh, um, 
to make it teleport to your lobby like I do. I put another cube with the mesh render off and the box glider off. Um, and I put it right above where you spawn in the lobby. I just named it Lobby TP. Then you go to your button and you put on the teleport uh, with delay. And you make the object to disable your object, your game object thing that you made already. Object teleport, uh, you do gorilla player and then target object should be lobby TP. And I do 0 0.3 because it's a little bit less laggy, but it's fine because it's just a button and it's going to be quick. And it like doesn't really matter. Yeah, and then that should work completely. Uh, you can test it by just starting going into your lobby game mode, waiting for the lobby to hit you, and then seeing if it teleports. Uh, now, it should work. If you want any explaining, stay. But uh, if you just want to go and test, uh, go and test. Alright. So basically, uh, I'm going to explain what the, ob the game object is needed to like disable. So basically, the teleport without delay will just send you to the thing. But as you can see... Uh, if I get hit by the lava here, if I get into the thing, boing, I hit the wall. So I can't do that. So basically, the object to delay, it'll completely get rid of that thing for the player uh, for just a little second. And you'll get teleported during that second. So yeah, that's why that happens. Uh, yeah, bye.